Special thanks to Artless for sponsoring today's video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some AI video editing tricks that you can use inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. All right, so I have Premiere Pro open, and one of the newest AI features inside the software is a new AI-powered search panel. You can access this by clicking on the button at the top right called Search Panel. This will bring up the window, and this allows you to search anything imported inside your Premiere Pro project by describing it. For example, I imported a planet Earth inside my Premiere Pro project, but I didn't name it. But check this out. If we just type in world, it'll locate that clip even though it's named no name and there's nothing really to identify it because the AI is searching your imported media and trying to find the relating keywords. So from here, we can double click on this. We can open it up inside our source panel and we can make our edits and add this to our project. This makes finding your video clips inside Premiere Pro a lot easier. Another new AI tool that came out recently inside Premiere Pro is called Generative Extend. So let's say I have this clip in my timeline, but I want to extend the end of it. It cuts off too early and I want to expand the scene a little bit. If you update to the latest version of Premiere Pro, you'll notice a new tool in the tools panel. At the very bottom, you'll see the generative extend tool. When you click on it, this allows you to click and drag on the edge of a clip, even though that it has ended, you can extend it using AI. So if we click and drag it out to extend our clip, if we zoom in here, you can see that it's generating extra frames at the end of the clip. And when it finishes, you can see that we have this new AI generated label at the end. And when we click and play this back, you can see that using the power of AI, we were able to extend our video clip. Now, another common AI video editing task is to create and generate AI videos. And for this, I like to use Artlist. Artlist is an all-in-one platform for content creation, providing the best music, sound effects, footage, templates, plugins and software for content creators. And they recently came out with a lot of new AI features on their platform. If we navigate to the Artlist website, you can see that they have a new AI image and video section. When we click on it, we can create an image based on a text prompt, and then you can convert that image to a video and you have a lot of different styles to choose from as well. For this one, I'm gonna choose Cinematic Earth. So I'm gonna click Select. Since back in Premiere Pro, I'm kinda of creating a travel video. So I want something to showcase traveling and adventure. Let's generate an image and a video to complement this shot here. Maybe some birds flying around with the sunset. So back inside Artlist, I'm gonna type in birds flying over ocean at sunset. And what's nice about Artlist's text to image is that you have this enhance button. Cause I'm not really big in uh, writing out words, essentially since I'm a video editor, this tool is very helpful to expand your prompt. So if we click on enhance, this will expand our prompt so it gives more detail. You can then choose your aspect ratio, how many images you'd like. And next we can click generate. You can see this uses 80 credits and you can keep track of your credits by hovering over the credits area down at the bottom right. And if we scroll down, you can see that we're generating our image. So once it's done, you can see that we have our image here. You can choose to upscale it or what we want to do is make this into a video. So what we can do is click on the animate button. It will suggest a prompt for you and you can make fine tune adjustments to that prompt if you'd like. Down at the bottom left, you can choose five or 10 seconds as well as the resolution. So you can change it from 720 to 1080, but for now I'm going to choose 5 seconds for the duration and 1080 for the resolution. Then I'm going to click animate. And now we can scroll down and we can see that we are generating our video. Alright, once it's done, we have our clip here. This looks great. We can click on the download button and then we can click and drag it to our project here. And as you can see, we've added our AI generated video inside Premiere Pro. Another AI feature I really like using an art list is their AI voiceover. If we click on the AI voiceover tab, we can choose to add in text and generate a voiceover. So I put together a script for my video. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste it into our box here. You have a lot of different voices to choose from and you can sort based on video category. For this, I'm gonna choose documentaries, to get more documentary voices. And I'm gonna scroll down to preview a voice. You can click on the play button. Here's to the bold souls, the dreamers, the rule breakers, I like this one, so I'm gonna go with this. With this one selected, I'm gonna scroll back up and you have some fine tune adjustments you can make to the accent, the speed, the emotion, and the effect. For the emotion, I'm gonna go curious. And for the accent, I'm gonna go with Australian. Now we can click generate, and once it's done, you can click play. Traveling the world 
is one of the greatest adventures life has to offer. If you need to make changes, you can make changes to your voiceover, whether it's the text or the settings. In this case, I'm gonna choose and go back to the American option. And I'm gonna change the emotion to optimistic. And we'll see how this sounds. We can click generate. And that's what's nice is you can keep generating voiceovers until you find one that you really like to add to your project. Once it's done, we can click play. Traveling the world is one of the greatest adventures life has to offer. This sounds good. I'm gonna click download at the right side and we can add this into our project. You'll also notice that you have a new voice to voice feature inside Artlist. This is great. Let's say if I read out the voice over script and record myself speaking. So for example, I have this clip of me where I record my voice. Traveling the world is one of the greatest adventures life has to offer. Let's say if I want to take this audio clip and then use Artlist to transfer my voice into one of their voices, I can use this feature. So back inside Artlist, I can go over to the voice to voice feature. Then I can click upload a voice recording. And then from the finder window, I can choose my voiceover recording and click open. Then I can click generate. Once it's done, we can click play. Traveling the world is one of the greatest adventures life has to offer. This is really good. I like using this option, especially if I want to match the way I want it to be spoken. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to click download at the right side and then back inside Premiere Pro, I can click and drag it into our project and add it into our project sequence here. Now, along with voiceovers, you can also access Artless Music Library. And one thing I did want to point out is that there's a plugin built into Premiere Pro where you can access the Artless portal directly inside the software. So if we go up to Window Extensions, there is the Artless Library. And as you can see, you can browse music, footage, sound effects, and also AI voiceovers. So we can go back to the voiceovers that I just generated and re-add them to my project. I can also generate new voiceovers as well right inside Premiere Pro. But for now, I'm going to go to the music tab and let's try to find some music for this project. So I'm going to change the mood to epic, powerful, and exciting. I'm going to change the video theme to landscape, and then I'm going to click play. And let's preview this. Traveling the world is one of the greatest adventures life has to offer. Every new place holds a unique story. And what's really nice is that they have this timeline sync feature where it allows you to play back your footage, your voiceover inside Premiere Pro while also browsing music selections. So you can easily click on another song and preview that song while listening to the voiceover and looking at your shots to see if it would be a good match. I like Miracle, so I'm going to download that one. You can see it appears. I can just add this directly to my sequence. Thank you, Artlist, for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested, you can use my link down in the video description and get two extra months for for free. Now let's take a look at some other AI features inside Premiere Pro. Now we just added this music clip to our timeline and you'll notice that it's a little long. Now we can always trim it by clicking and dragging on the right side and trimming it off, but it would be nice if the music kind of went along to the length of the video. To do this, you can use the remix tool inside Premiere Pro to use AI to retime your music track. So to do that, you can navigate to your ripple edit tool. If you long hold on it, you can go down to the remix tool. Then you can click and drag from the right edge and bring it to the end of your video clip. You'll see that the clip is analyzing and it will generate a shorter version of the song automatically. You'll also notice that Essential Sound will open. You can also choose to change your workspace to audio, and this will make the Essential Sound panel a little bit bigger here. And you can see that under Duration, we can go down to Customize. You can choose how many segments and the variations there are inside the music. And if we click and zoom in here, you can see that there's little squiggly lines of where Premiere Pro is using AI to mix and blend the music together. So if we click play here, you can kind of see how it's being blended. And that sounds pretty seamless there, to be honest. But if you wanted less or more segments, you can change this value to the left to have fewer segments. You can see there's only two breaks in the song. Or if you want more segments, you can click and slide it to the right. You can see they added more parts of the song inside that clip. So you can mess with the settings and see what works best for you. I also wanted to point out one other feature inside Premiere Pro, which is really cool. Let's say if you have noisy audio inside Premiere Pro, 
you can now clean it up using enhanced speech. So with the essential sound panel open, you can click on any dialogue piece, any dialogue clip inside your sequence, and you can click on this enhance button. This uses AI to clean up your audio. This is a voiceover, so it sounds pretty good. But let's say if you record outside, there's a lot of wind, maybe a lot of noise in your background of your audio, you can use this tool to help clean up your audio inside Premiere Pro using the power of AI. So it's enhancing the speech, and you'll also notice that you have a mix amount underneath the option to enhance it. The more you go to the right, the more AI it will sound, and the more to the left you go, the less it uses AI to clean up the noise. So I recommend somewhere in the middle between probably five and seven is probably usually good for noisy audio, but you can mess with it and change it accordingly to your own clip. So those are some AI features inside Premiere Pro that you can use as a video editor. If you want to learn more about Premiere Pro, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one that you might like linked right up there. Feel free to go check that one out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.